Thanks for staying with us. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Right now we're talking about telling the Nigerian story through theatre. Nigerian theatre serves as a dynamic platform to preserve and celebrate the nation's diverse cultural heritage while also addressing historical events, social issues and political commentary, often blending traditional elements with contemporary themes. Theatre in Nigeria fosters national unity and understanding by transcending ethnic divides and engaging audiences with stories that reflect the realities of Nigerian life, promoting empathy and dialogue across different communities. Today we'll be looking at the Nigerian story through theatre and the concentration is on the people that made Nigeria and are making Nigeria uh, what it should be. And one of the persons telling the stories is the person of Joseph Edgar, the chairman Duke of Shmolu Foundation. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good yeah, morning, thank you so much. Should I call you Joseph or I should call you the Duke? Yeah, call me Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I know you would say that. <clears throat> okay, yeah. well, I've known you for uh, quite some time now, maybe yeah. close to 10 years or at least more than five years. Yes. And uh, you didn't start out by telling stories of individuals. You were just telling um, things that were happening in the society and all that. But you now are concentrating all, almost um, mostly on the people, the Nigerian people and all that. Tell us what inspired you to go into that. Okay, thank you so much. Because, you know, there's a leadership deficit in the country right now. Yeah, there's a leadership deficit. So, so people will tell you clearly that the your problem is that of leadership. And I've seen the kinds of leaders that are coming up, you know, in the, since we came into this uh, This is for public as well. So, my, my vision is to, is to remind us of the kinds of leaders that we've had in the past. The role that they played in national development, do you get? And then to put them up up there, do you get for those of us coming behind them to either emulate or say, oh, that person missed it, do you get me now? And most importantly, remind the leaders of today that there will come a time where they their actions also will be extra, we were extra these ones now. Okay. So, now that's that's yeah, but but you've told the stories of people or you're telling stories of the people mm -hmm. our heroes past, as we call them in yeah. the national anthem that is no longer national anthem. Yes. Uh, but how much have you related with the people of today so that you can also remind them that there will come a time just like you have said? And so so by by by, by them coming to see no, okay. We're doing Go On now, for example, you get. And then we've had a major media blitz. I'm here to talk about Go On, you get. So, at the end of the day, you find out that the present day leaders are seeing how we are extreme past leaders, do you get. So, this issue of Go On, the last three, four, five, six weeks, suicide media campaign, has led to a lot of debates as to his contribution, possibly or otherwise, to national development, do you get. So, we are, we are forcing conversations. As to his contribution, so any other that has sense, you can say all of this. We also know that with, with time, I will be in the same boat. Do you get? So we've gotten we've gotten people approach us, say, "Oh, come and have, come and do me, or come and do this person." No, it's, it's, because it has to be historical. Do you get me now? That person has to have 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 reached that point where his 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 story you get will make sense to us as an historical reference. You know, to to uh, as an historical reference. To our journey yeah. of national um, development. development. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but you don't just choose uh, leaders or people who were at the helm of affairs because not all of them may have been leaders yes. uh, at random. You choose them because of a particular thing or particular things. What are those things that you look out for to select who to X-ray? Okay, so I, I I I choose people who have fought for Nigerian unity. So whether you have, no matter what you want to be. If you have planned a coup, I won't do you. If you have forced a civil war, I won't do you. If you have talked about separation, I won't do you. Do you get? So there has been people who have contributed immensely do you get, to Nigeria, either politically, economically, or otherwise, to Nigerian unity. Do you get? So that's the first um, um, criteria that, that, that leads to that um, selection. So if you, see, if you see the plethora poll that we have done all this while, you will see that, 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 that criteria going through all of them. Zeke. But when, when you talk about uh, planning a coup and all that, a lot of people will just think that when you are a military head of state, for instance, you were involved in a coup. That means Obasanjo is part of it. That means the Gowan you're talking about here is part of it because no. they were all that. So no. what gave them the exception? No, I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will tell you. So Gowan fought for Nigerian unity. Diggers. So depending on whatever side of the table you are in, Diggers now. 
as long as I'm concerned and what I was told in history mm. is that someone said no we cannot succeed and he led that push to bringing us back mm -hmm. together as one now whether that was right or not is neither here nor there for me now secondly immediately after the civil war he he, he brought about that reconciliation policy now whether that was um, um, judiciously executed is not here nor there for me. But one thing you know is that after the Civil War, and it's never happened anywhere in the world, no single Biafra soldier was convicted. No single Biafra soldier was executed. So they tried to reintegrate. They, whether it worked or not, it's not here for me. No, it's not here nor there for me. But they tried to integrate them back into the country to the extent that a few years after that the most important state in nigeria which Lagos state had governors in succession from that other side of the country for me that's a major achievement now for passenger i don't know what transpired or how you came to remember it is or i don't know <laughs> but somebody lost his life and somebody was appointed it was clear he wasn't part of those who led to that person losing his, his life. life. And then, not only that, he did a transfer program and handed over the first time ever in Africa. Mm. So if he was part of whatever in the past, that handing over, you get me now, would have cleared all of, all of that. And then ever since then, you could see his democratic credentials to date. Now, whether he was good or bad, it's not here nor there. But he had shown considerable interest in the unity of this country. Mm. Okay, so uh, how much has this has achieved for you and the country in general? You know, you're telling the stories. People need to know. Unfortunately, history is no longer in our school, so maybe mm. you might just be the only history teacher, <laughs> or theater might just be the only history teacher. Mm, mm. How much has it achieved since you started telling the stories? And so this cannot be quantified. Okay, so this is, you try, you can't really quantify it. You can't say, oh, because of the place we have done, we'll be able to do ABCDFX. But I think that my joy is in two things. One, the demographics of those coming to this place are getting younger. When they started, they get, it was older people that come yeah, to the place. Yeah. Now you're seeing 25 year old, 30 year old buy tickets. Coming to sit down to watch this place, and then after the place, they still hang around and keep talking. And what we try to do in some of these instances is to bring those guys to come see the play themselves. So, what are doing about Sanjay Basu sitting down there in the hall? So, we are doing um, Fanji, his children are sitting down there in the hall. We are doing a Sanjay, he's sitting down there in the hall. So, the guys who come to see the play can connect. So, after the play, you see them moving towards them to ask questions. Is this true? This really happened? That is like that. You get so, therefore, go on now. I've just looked at the, the analytics now. We have 70% ticket buyers that are less than 25 years old. Is it? So apart from the corporate sponsors, yeah, those who are actually going to retail to buy tickets for 5,000 younger people. So it shows that over the seven year period, we'll be able to generate some level of this is now. If that's enough to now move into a wave, because we're 20 million people with something I don't know for you, but we'll keep pushing, we'll keep pushing. What's the ultimate goal? For me or for, listen? Uh, both. For me, I'm going to go to politics. So, are, you, are you using this as a platform? Yes. So, <laughs> yes. I can't, I can't like so, what it does for me is that it gives me access mm. to certain power bases in the country. Do you understand? So, I believe in this country. I do not have confidence in leadership of this country. I believe in the followership. So, I think that the followership have begun to take government. I'm going to take prime role in our nation. And I'll give you an example. The entertainment industry was driven, is driven by followership. There's no government. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, government did not envision it. Government did not put structures in place. In fact, some of the laws they used to regulate it are, uh, what's the word now? Obsolete. <laughs> Do you understand? So it's the people themselves that triggered that revolution that we are seeing here now, that we're not here, it's over three trillion billion. If you go down this stretch, this stretch, this uh, lucky, uh, this thing, you will see all clues. You will see estates that you will not believe. And Nigerians, they have their own power, have their own security, <laughs> have their own water, have their infrastructure. 
There are some places where you enter, like that in that town. When I enter, I thought I was in Beverly Hills. So <laughs> I kid you not. The first time I went to uh, Nakon town to go and see someone, I think it was Alibaba to go and see. I didn't believe I was in Nigeria. And I even hear that's not the finest. So what has happened? Followership have taken over. They are providing for themselves. Do you hear me now? And it's happening slowly, slowly, slowly. Do you hear me now? Because it has not gone into politics just yet, so we can't feel the impact. Do you understand? So slowly it's going to... That's why people like me, we, get, we go into that politics. Do you hear me now? And engender that change. So for me, like I always tell my people, you've noticed my, my, my billboards, I don't put any actor, I don't use any name actor. Do you get Because I'm telling the story. It's not about you, the actor. Do you understand? That? You are helping me tell the story of leadership. That's why I'm paying you. So if you want yourself on my poster, go and do your own play. Are you getting me now? This is about Nigeria, it's not a joke. So help me interpret this story and I will pay you for it. Okay. So now, when you're telling the story... Yeah, you know, the, the, why, why I'm doing this, I was, going, I was going to end it with why I'm going to... How I'm using to get into politics now. That's the question you asked me now. No, I didn't ask you that. You do it, anyone who told me <laughs> that you are going into politics. I didn't know that. I didn't even ever think about the fact that you were going to... So politics. this place gave me access to power business. So now, after seven years, I have a strong relationship with Ambassador Joe. I can call the Emir of Kano. I can talk to Saldana of Sokoto. I can talk to the, all the governors in the South South. Because I've done plays in their, in their, in their, in their, in their, in their now. I can go to Northeast. So the day I start to call for election, nobody will say, who is that? Are you getting me now? They say, okay. So now I'm not central. Now I'm doing go on now. The governor, I'm talking to the governor, talking to the king of that place. Are you getting so me now? So that's just your aim. Like, go that's the aim. We're we'll going to politics. And we change the narrative. We change the narrative. Now, when you're telling the stories, you said in the, in the opening that you're not only telling stories of the people who have gone, you're also telling the stories for the people who are present to know that one day it will get to them. You, let's leave out the fact that you will use it as a platform for politics, but this is something that not only Nigerians should know. How much have you exported this story, the Nigerian story? We've gone to London now, we've gone to England, um, May. With Awu, it was beautiful. Filled to the brim. The people were queuing from the hall down, like, 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 no way we queue for free. And so people queue to come and see Awu. But because of the cost, we were only able to do just two shows. So we are going back next year with Zeke. So we've done 24 in Nigeria. So the plan is to move them yeah. worldwide. You get. But the beautiful thing about taking Awu to the UK was that. Yes, the hall was 100% filled by Nigerians. You get me now. But we started getting interest from people saying, what's it about? White people, other cultural people, media, what's it about? What's it about? What's it about? And we've got the interview now. So we are now seeing foreign platforms saying, oh, when next are coming, let's talk. So okay. we can expand this beyond okay. all of that. So, so for them, they are liking the, 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 the costumes. They're liking the dance, they're liking the rhythm, the story might not resonate, mm -hmm. do you understand? But the fact that the rhythm, the so we flew in a UK actress to come be in Gomon. Mm -hmm. That's just part of the, the, the exchange, something else. So, so she, she's, just, she's Nigerian, but she's British. She's, this is her first time in Nigeria. So she's, she's, she's playing Victoria um, Gomon, you know. And, and she said to me that, I, that what I'm seeing here in Riaza, it's. 100 percent more than what we did in in london no? <laughs> that these guys they have more rhythm yeah. than than than, than and it, it was Nigerian, you know? so so that's the plan to, to to take these things first to the diaspora clusters all over the world if you can get support and then from there just but, but you know the point is here it's not even there the point is here i'm telling you you're throwing me up where who are headless so <laughs> I don't know how to make up the headless thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but so now, when you take this thing, you enter into politics. I, I'm not even very comfortable talking about uh, entering into politics. But yes, that's where it ultimately will go and end. What's your dream, a personal dream for Nigeria? Because we don't seem to have the Nigerian dream, so to speak, that everybody aspires to get to. What is your own dream as a person for Nigeria? <laughs> is it the mistake we all make is that? Nigeria is involving, but we can't see it. Very few people can see it. Do you understand? 
So they're not like Nigerian dream, right? They're not like Nigerian dream. Because, because Nigeria, Nigeria, the Nigeria of tomorrow is already here today. Do you get me now? So those who can see, take the opportunity. That's why we have the richest man in Africa here. Do you get me now? That's why we're having people who are building phenomenal things because they can see, they see the opportunities. But sadly, majority of people can't see the opportunities. Are you getting me now? But see, I have implicit confidence in the next generation, generation after us, they get these younger people, they get me now. Because they can see, they can feel it. Do you get me now? That's why I see that they are controlling, at their young age, they are controlling major industries at their young age. Are you getting me now? There's a guy who has taken DHL and UPS out of the market. That boy is not up to 40. You get it? I don't know if I can mention his name here now. You know, I'm sure I've heard of him Yeah. So you take it, and then every, out of every 10 bags, you see, logistics bags you see in Lagos, you know, five or six owned by young guys. Do you hear me now? So, when you talk about Nigeria, your dream is still far. You know, talking far. No, it's Nigeria today. Do you get it? So the seeds for Nigeria's, the seeds for Nigeria's um, resurgence as well as the plant and germinating. Okay, I always like to ask this question, no matter how many, how many times we talk about the transition from, from you being an investment banker, you're still an investment banker, but you're into theater now. A lot of people will, how did he do it? How did he do it? So to encourage the other people who may be in one place but could use their talent in another place, how does it work for you? How did it work for you? Because I'm a genius now. It's not for a genius now. Look at that, though. You're quite far. You get But you see, you see the, 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 the candle, the chassis, every car has a chassis. That thing that you sit on, you get there. So my chassis is that I have very strong people skills. I have very strong marketing skills. I have very strong relationship management skills. That's the chassis. So once you have those things, you can do anything you want to do. So you just plug and play. So you can put the person back in on it, remove it. You can put it on it, remove it. I can come to the industry and remove it. Because I'm a people person. I can relate to people and I can sell. And that's what they don't put That's what I'm doing master class on sales. Everything in life is sales. Everything in life is sales. So, so there's no... I don't need to be trained to go to another industry. Do you get me now? So I don't write the scripts, not interested. I don't even go for audition and realize that. Not even interested. I realize that. Mm, yeah. So my own is that I've been vision this thing. I want to go on. Do you get me now? Can you go on for me? Can you go on for me? How much do you cost me? You give me a figure. I'll go on for the money I'll give you. Do you get me now? But this is the vision. This is how this go on will be. Do you understand? So when I'm doing our, I want it to come from the angle of his wife. When on music, why did he commit? Why did he attempt to commit suicide? So that's where I see that point I want this story to, to tell. Go on, do get. There's a spiritual connotation of all of these leaders. Do get. Why did God pick this young, unassuming boy from an ancient tribe up in the Plato, taking to Zaria and bring him back to Lagos? And why did his name go on, go on with one Nigeria? Are <laughs> you getting me now? Why was he given left hand? Why was he made the general from left hand corner? Middle world, I'm giving the the role to play during the civil war. Do you know now? So those are the points I'm giving the the, the director. Okay. Do <laughs> so what we're just saying is it never it never seems to be enough mm. time to to end this. But would like to thank you. Uh, Go one is coming up. Uh, this weekend, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, four pm, six pm. Okay. Uh, thank you. I've, I hope that I can make it to go and watch that. You should, you should. I'm going to guess. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, the Duke of Shumolu, as we call him. His name is Joseph Edgar. He's the chairman of Duke of Shumolu Foundation. He's been talking with us about uh, telling the Nigerian stories through theatre. That's one thing he has been doing and uh, chronicling the lives of uh, our leaders who had something to learn from. Uh, that's the basic thing. So, if you are a leader today, know that tomorrow your story might be told. But what would you be remembered for? is the question you'll be asking yourself. We'd like yeah. to thank you, Duke, for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah.